Hi guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're looking at an auction purchase of a JDM fire truck. And this isn't our first one of these. We actually sell quite a few, but lucky us, this customer allowed us to put it onto our YouTube channel so you can take a look at what a JDM fire truck looks like. Now, typically a truck like this would be considered pretty old and wouldn't be used in the city here in Japan, but the countryside, they have smaller budgets. They have older trucks that get used for longer terms. And so this is a four wheel drive, diesel, five speed fire truck. This one actually came with a whole bunch of really cool parts that I have over there. And I'm gonna show you what that is in just a sec. First off, we'll go through the regular motions for these videos. The vehicle has just under 13,000 kilometers. For a vehicle that's 25 years old and going to be imported to the USA. The good thing about the fire trucks is they're very, very low mileage. And so this is the 2L engine. It's a 2.4 liter diesel. These do come with turbos in some vehicles like the High Ace vans and the Hilux pickup trucks and the Hilux Surf, I believe, uses them. In this case, it doesn't have a turbo. And so this is good or bad, but it is good. <laughs> so let me explain that. And this seat, first off, let me uh, go a little rant style for you guys. Usually the holder for the seat is on this side. On this one is on the other side. So if you want to put the seat down, you have to either have a gigantic long arms or you have to go over to the other side. And so the reason why this engine is good without a turbo is because these engines are more reliable without turbochargers. People have probably heard about the uh, head gasket problems. Well, the non-turbo version doesn't seem to have that problem as far as I've seen. And these are kind of like your 400,000 kilometers. Okay engine. It's a little bit dark today, so I'll try to move slowly so that it doesn't blur too much. This camera doesn't like dark days and it's super cloudy today. Okay, so let's take a look at what the auction sheet said and then we'll look over the, uh, the vehicle. So it's 1991 High Ace four door, four wheel drive fire truck. It's an auction grade four with an interior B, 12,316 kilometers, diesel 2L engine, comes with power steering, no other options. Uh, color change to red, they all come white and then they get prepped for the fire trucks and color changed using a special type of uh, one step paint. So no clear coat on this. And then it's really thick because uh, firefighters here in Japan wash their trucks religiously. It's so crazy. They're always out there washing them. And firefighters in Japan are all very muscular and handsome. And so it's really nice to see we live near a fire hall. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Okay, so not much here. Uh, it says it's a fire truck and it comes with whatever parts it comes with. And so see it yourself uh, for details. Dashboard has been modified with holes, screw holes, and uh, some other things. Exterior scratch, dents, and surface rust. Couldn't find any rust on it. Windshield rock chip. Same thing, rock chips are usually really small, like smaller than one milli millimeter. Like that. Not something that I worry about. Various scratches and dents on it. Company sign, winter tires interior is dirty. And it says uh, large scratch on the rear door on this side, otherwise medium scratches on it. I can say that it doesn't look that bad. The large scratches uh, are the worst part and they are where they removed a company sign. So you can see the white scratches there. And they're on all four of the doors. Okay, so let's do once around of it. And this one's probably better equipped than most of the ones that we buy because it has a full box on the back and I will go over that stuff. This still has the water pump and has one of the better water pump systems that I've seen. Let's see if we can get it all in frame. It is rather big for a Japanese vehicle. Let me just step over this. Okay. And so it is a little bit of a, you know, get what you get kind of deal when you get these fire trucks. Sometimes they come with a lot of the equipment. Sometimes they come with basically none. Now this one compared to most has more of the equipment. And generally these vehicles are fairly inexpensive, especially when you compare them to other vehicles like the non-fire truck version of the high ace truck 
that comes with the diesel engine and then like a flat bed. Because you get the, uh, the, the fire truck equipment, you end up paying a good chunk less. And so if you want to have a fire truck, that's cool, but a lot of people will just convert these to your standard four door kind of pickup truck. Put a pickup truck bed on the back or a flat bed or you know, do whatever you want. People seem to be pretty resourceful when it comes to these vehicles and make whatever they want. I've seen people make like box trucks on the back or camping cars or whatever it, it may be. Okay, so let's go over uh, what we have on the back here. And so it comes with brand new tires actually, very cool. Here are the original tires from when the car was brand new, 1991 is the marking on the tires. And you can see that basically no, uh, no problems, not very much wear considering 25 years. And uh, these can't be shipped with the car, so if you want them, we have to take the tires off and then send the wheels by themselves. They're just a steel wheel. Some people want them, some people don't. Whatever you want, basically. Otherwise, we throw them out. Fashionable rope. Okay, handle. And here's your water pump. And so let's go over that first. This is the gasoline-powered water pump. It looks like it can go up to... 15 bar is the highest on here. I'm, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that you wouldn't actually run it at 15 bar. One bar is 14 and a half PSI. And so that's really high. And so the way it works is this one here is your in, and this one here is your out. And we have the exact same thing on the other side. And so this one you can move. That's fun. Whoa. And this one will go into the fire hydrant and the water doo -doo 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 -doo, goes in and then you put another hose onto here for your out. The other side is similar but not exactly the same. This hose has a little basket on it and the basket is for picking up water if there is no uh, fire hydrant. And so this one you'll stick into a pond or something and this basket acts as a filter of crud and stuff. So kind of old school. But cool, it's actually made out of like a bamboo, neat. And basically the same over here. Now, this one here is the uh, gasoline engine's throttle for the pump that is inside there. You can see your pressure gauges there. And you have a couple of nozzles. There's this one, and I'll go over to the other side too. To show you what that looks like. It's funny, this looks like an engine valve, actually. It's very similar in design. And this unscrews and it comes right off. After unscrewing for a long time, apparently. Okay, so this guy here will go on to your hoses and this is your uh, wide spray and uh, direct spray. Very cool to see that up close. Now, to the person who bought this vehicle, these parts will probably be taken by Japanese customs as uh, equipment that's not secured. And so if you want any of this stuff, it's a good idea to have it taken off and then we'll send it to you. This one here is a bucket, apparently uh, for fires that are really small. Shoop, good to go. And uh, actually that bucket's mine. <laughs> My son was playing in the fire truck because he's only one year old and fire trucks are cool to him. And so uh, he left his bucket in the truck and I'll put that in my bag. Okay, the fire extinguisher that's on the side, that, uh, that's not gonna be able to be shipped because they tend to explode. Or, I mean, they're a pressurized thing and so just because of that, then they, don't, they won't allow shipping of it. Okay, it comes with these, which are really cool. There are three of them. And let me show you. Okay, so this is what they use to tear down the doors when the doors are in the way of the firefighters. And you actually feel like a grim reaper holding this, just one with a really, really small uh, scythe. I don't know. Put that back in there. And once again, these ones will probably not be able to be shipped with the vehicle. So if you want them, let me know. Okay, the back got crunched. 
and it is deceiving because it comes out further than the back bumper and it's very low so be careful when you drive these okay now we have a super nozzle here and this one you can just take it out and then we have another bent nozzle with like a carrier so that's very cool to have those and then here's the way that the pump works i'm not going to climb in here i did when i took took the pictures of this vehicle but i'm not going to do it because it's very difficult to actually climb in there with these rickety tires and so uh this one here connects to this and then this one here this spins around and connects to there so this one is your water in goes into the uh water pump and then this one here is your water out here's your safety valve uh, for on or off and then you can set the engine speed here. The higher your engine speed is, the more pressure you'll be able to uh, bring up. Uh, we're not going to test this. And as far as I know, this is a diesel. No, it's not, gasoline. Ah, interesting. Okay, so it uses its own gasoline up here and its own tank. Sometimes they use the diesel tank that actually is uh, with the vehicle. There's a tarp up there, and I'll just step up. That's a, a roof carrier, and so you can carry stuff in like a basket that's in there, and then zip, zip it up so that it's waterproof. There is a small rip in that, but uh, small, like it's, it's like that big. And so it's small enough you could super glue it or something. And underneath, inside that is the plumbing for the uh, water pump and everything. So that would all need to be taken out if you're gonna convert this to a pickup truck couple of places here for probably axes that they would want to keep um, and some hooks here I don't know what you would put on that but maybe coats or something like that and then the roof there you can see that the there's the wires there for the siren but no siren on the top the siren actually came with it a lot of them they take the sirens off and so this is what uh, came with the vehicle so we have the siren and it says the name of the city, which I can't read. It's like the first one is north, the next one is up, and the next one is city. But each of those characters has multiple pronunciations. It might be like Koho. It's kind of like Kohoku. I'm not too sure, but it's a northern area, I imagine. Probably a mountain town. But the sirens look to be in really good shape. You would have to ship that and it's quite heavy. And so it's going to cost a lot if you want to have it. If it were me, I would get it because I think it's cool comes with this lamp here and then that lamp goes into shoot where is it it like slots into the vehicle somewhere and you can direct it to whatever direction that you want but I don't know where it goes typically these uh, vehicles always have two lamps one slot in style and then one stand up style this one here with a little plug in that plugs into uh, something look at this switch JDM lamp. This is an old hand crank style siren. And in Japan, they still use these. It's a little hard to do without it being mounted to something, but. I don't know if I can actually get in trouble for, for playing the siren. This one here is the loudspeaker, and there is a, the system for using it inside the vehicle, but it's missing the microphone, the, the command style of thing that plugs into it. But you should be able to use it if you plug that in and then get one of those receiver pieces of the right size. It comes with fireproof boots and JDM firefighter gloves. And so you can put these on and then you can watch the Beastie Boys intergalactic uh, music video. And... Uh, I'm dating myself. It comes with bags, but I'm too afraid to open them up because I'm, a, uh, I'm afraid they might have things inside I don't want to touch, like dead body pieces or something. And so I just left them there. But I'll give you a hint as to what's actually in them. So it sounds like tire chains to me, not actually dead bodies. Okay, so condition seems to be great, as these fire trucks usually are. Let's see what's on the interior here. Oh, and hand-painted stripes these ones are like uh, transfer decals or decals but everything else is hand-painted and it is fading a little bit okay 
going into the back here. And so we have lots of leg room in the back for your big firefighter suit. The original plastic is still on here. That's kind of funny. And then uh, mats to make sure that uh, you don't get your truck so dirty. That's kind of useless now, isn't it? This flips up. And this is a rear heater. So that's really cool. It's different from the front heater because it's in the rear. And it's a separate piece. I mean, you could use the rear heater and then have nothing on in the front if you wanted. Oh, and that seat, I flipped it up like that. You can flip it up and attach it to this. And then it stays in the up position. You can sleep in there if you want to curl your legs up because it's a completely flat floor. Okay, driver's side. Nice big windows there with the lower section there. Love that. Steering wheel is kind of like a bus, more flat than it is straight toward you. And then comes with three seats here. So total six seater in this one. Seats are in great condition. Everything seems to work. There is no AC in it though. Some of them do, but most of them don't have it for the fire trucks. And you don't get a tachometer either, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, so here's your front. The glove box has been converted into a metal nothing. I don't really know why they would do that, but it looks like it used to be a mount for some other things that were in there. Okay. Here's your system for speaker, your loudspeaker, um, and your sirens, maybe one of these. I can read only this one, it says search light. Here's siren, there we go. So if you plug it in, I'm sure that that would work. There might be one switch for lights, one switch for um, uh, the, the sound but I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's not hooked up. Okay, here's your five speed, and it is a proper four wheel drive with a, a center transfer case here between high and low gears. You can run it in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or low range four wheel drive for extra climbing ability. So, this is gonna be a long video. What are we at, 17 minutes? We typically keep these between 10 and 12 minutes long, but this one has a lot more to go off of than your typical one. And so JDM fire truck, they're plentiful and fairly inexpensive and really cool. So, and diesel and four wheel drive and from Japan, so they're JDM. So that'll be the end of the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to say what's on your mind in the comments section. Thanks a lot for watching everybody and have a nice day.